Hello Vidblogs Makers, we are back with an exciting addition to the Vidblogs family, the Accelero Vlogs. Stick around till the end to discover some fun ways you can use it. The newly launched Accelero blocks comprises of two main parts, the Accelero and the Accelero RX. So what's the big deal? The primary function of the Accelero blocks is to capture your tilt movements and use it to drive outputs. It's the same kind of sensor tech that lets your phone switch between portrait and landscape mode. But this isn't just any sensor. Accelero Blocks is powered by advanced technology that captures 6-axis acceleration and gyroscopic data. There are two modes to use the Accelero Blocks, Tilt Mode and Remote Control Mode. In Tilt Mode, simply tilting the Accelero Blocks causes the connected output to respond. In Remote Control Mode, that tilt data is transferred wirelessly from the Accelero to the Accelero RX. Accelero blocks can transmit up to 8 different gestures in this mode. Let me show you how that works using an accelerator pair and two motors. The basic gestures include forward, backward, left and right. But it doesn't stop there. We also have forward right and backward right. Forward left, backward left and to stop just come back to the center gesture. The captured Accelero data opens up endless possibilities in robotics. Imagine controlling a car with just hand gestures. Or building a robotic arm that responds to your tilt. You can even create a posture tracking mechanism. And if you are into gaming, classic games like Subway Surfer, Dino Game and Temple Run can be controlled through an Accelero and an Arduino board. With Accelero, controlling your projects is as easy as a simple hand movement. Plus, you can capture raw tilt data for more advanced applications. So, what are you waiting for? Visit the Vidblocks app today and check out the Accelero blocks. We'd love to know what projects you are going to try in the comments below. I'm off to build some Accelero powered robots. See you in the next one.